hello youtube welcome to a new video my name is praise amazing today we are going to be retouching this beautiful portrait of funke williams um i'll put a link to her page in the description below and also put a link to our amazing makeup artist Layla Cadney. i'll put a link to her page to in the description below so definitely check them out um today we are doing something different because typically i retouch with um micro dot and burn and do a little bit of frequency separation but today we are just going to be using frequency separation to retouch this image and see what we get okay great so the first thing i want to do is run my frequency separation actions by the way i have 14 amazing actions that help you retouch better and retouch faster my retouching essentials pack i'll put a link to those in the description below so definitely check that out um and i also have some skin tone lots for color grading skin tone so definitely check those out too everything is in my digital store if you buy anything from my digital store then you are directly supporting me thank you so much i really appreciate that okay great so like i said with this we are just going to jump right into it so the first thing i'm going to do is run my media and action while this is not available right now in the retouching essentials pack do not worry it is coming very soon so what i'm going to do is just zoom out my image and um i want to make sure that the lines are you know showing all the lines um are showing so i'm going to show you that in a bit i don't really don't know why my pc is acting up but um let's say for example i take this all the way up to like 85 you can see that the lines are getting like blurred and weird and we don't want that so um i'm just going to bring this down to somewhere around 40 um i can still see all the lines here the lines are still sharp all the lines and nothing is blurring into the other one you can see right here around her eyeshadows you know um the wings right here that's still really sharp so yeah so somewhere around 40 will work for an image like this so what i'm going to do is just click okay okay so once i click okay my action is going to run and um you know i have my uh, median do its thing and then my action is going to run and it's going to tell me what layer do i want to choose so i always choose my low layer and i'm going to click ok and now we have our um, median so we have everything right here looks good okay so the next thing i want to do is just pick my mixer brush tool and with my mixer brush tool i'm going to work on my low layer but before i do that let's just work on our textures so i'm going to pick my clone stamp tool right here and make sure that my flow is at 100 percent um and what we're going to do is just work right here so i'm going to remove these blemishes so i'll be oh wh whenever it does this whenever you do this and it does that it just means that all layers are turned on so you just pick your current layer because we're working on the high layer texture layer and that's what we're working on so we're just going to work on this um just sample and remove and what i'm going to do is just fast forward this part you know um and I'll be back in a bit. So now I am done taking out a lot of like the blemishes on the skin. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Look at that before and after, before and after. Always take your time to take that out. Look right here, down here, before and after. So we've done a pretty decent job taking out those blemishes and the image looks really, really good already. We've taken out a lot of that. Um, what I want to do next is show you how or exactly what we're going to be doing with our mixer brush tool so what i'm going to do right now is run my invert check layer and with my invert check layer you can see how my image looks I'm just going to open my levels and just drag this out just a little bit so you can see more now with the invert check layer the way this works is you know I'm going to open my actions layer back right here if i need it the way this works is the areas that are white are your shadows and the areas that are black are your highlights because it's inverted so anything that is bright is going to show as black and anything that's black is going to show as white now typically i use the invert check layer for a lot of 
um, dodging and burning. That's what I use it for. But you can also use it for frequency separation. And um, if you understand how it works and exactly what you're doing, then you would find your way around this. So right now, I'm just going to pick a green brush, set my hardness to 100 uh, because I just want to show you a few things. So what we want to work on is blend our transitions between our highlights and our shadows. So you can see um, these sharp lines right here. We're trying to work on those. These sharp lines right here. You can see these sharp lines right here. Then right here, you can also see this line that looks kind of weird there, you know, and you can see this one here too. Um, if we come down, you can see how, you know, we have like some sharp lines here too. So these things typically, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to remove how sharp these lines are. At the same time, you know, we're trying to blend um, the highlights and the shadows. For example, this place right here, um, I was trying to draw an arrow there, but suck at drawing an arrow. This place right here and um, this place right here, we're trying to sort those out. So majorly, that's what we'll be doing, working on, you know, blending these highlights and um, shadows and mid-tones and everything together, right? Now, you can do it with um, this on or you can do it off. It depends on, on what you want to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn that off. Another thing I want to do is turn off my high layer. And now I can just see the colors of the image, right? So I'm going to pick my mixer brush tool. Um, once I pick my mixer brush tool, what I'm going to do is use these settings up here for my mixer brush tool right and what i want to do is go to my low layer and um just start working for some reason i have to clean my brush i do not know why my mixer brush tool does this um now never used to do this before but <laughs> just messes up this time so right now what i'm trying to do is just blend these transitions in first you know anywhere that i see that is just you know too sharp you know i'll just blend those in quickly right you can see this transition here i think that's sharp too so i just blend those in quickly right so you have to be careful because with um frequency separation and mixer brush tool before you know it you are already doing too much so you just have to be careful the way you are working with your image and just take it step by step right so you can see up here we have that blemish there we've taken that out and um I'm just going to take all this and just gradually work on the transitions first. Now, when we are done working on those transitions, we can now get in and work on our image a bit more. Okay. Remember, you have to just be very careful when you're working with this, even though it's really fast, you know, and, and it gets you where you're going really, really quick. Um, the bad thing about that is you know whatever you 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 get um whatever you can do quickly at the end of the day might turn out to not be good so right now i'm going to turn on this and um so i'm just going to zoom out so you guys can see it and show you our before and our after before and after you can see those transitions i was telling you about i have smoothened those transitions now while we have done that there's still quite a lot to do here right so for example, I do not like the shadows underneath the eyes, so I'm just going to come here and just drag in just a little bit to ease those shadows out. And the same thing with this place, I'll just do the same here. Just drag in to ease those shadows out, right? Okay, great. Now, right here, still don't like how this place looks, so I'm going to fix some of these two right here, and I will fix some of these and this areas too going to fix these areas and right here now with this like i always say you have to be careful at the end of the day it's not the technique that you're using even though the technique you know in some cases matters a lot there are some people that want you to do everything using you know like um micro dodge and burn it just depends on you but at the end of the day you know how well you understand people's faces and how well you understand how to blend these in is going to you know be key in you achieving great results at the end of the day so um let's see uh, before after before after you can see we have done quite a decent job right um great you can always go in and fix these with uh, micro dodge and burn if you want some other places or you know at the same time if i turn this on i can see some places here that i do not like so i can always just fix this right here just fix that quickly and right here too.
fix some of those all right anyway that i see that i do not like um, almost like i'm doing my my good and burn i can just go in and, and fix some of those i don't like how this place looks and then you can zoom out as you guys can see the the, the highlights on the head is a lot and um we'll probably be able to fix that later but this is our before and our after you know uh we've done a pretty decent job using just the mixer brush tool before after before another before after okay great so what i'm going to do right now is just go to the body and do the same work right there at the body so i'm going to turn off my texture and just work on the body like i say with the with this technique, it's just really easy for you to get great results real quick. But at the same time, you just have to be careful so you are not doing too much. Okay, um, we don't do too much there. Now this is what our image looks like. So let's see our before and our after, before and our after. Let's see our before again, before and after, before and after, before and after. Okay, let's zoom in. We're going to zoom out again. Let's see our before now after before and now after okay great i think we've done a pretty pretty decent job here the image still looks really natural and it looks good you know um if for some reason you feel like you've done too much you can always just dial down your opacity to the level that you want it to you know um and and, and you can always just dial it back up you know if, if you feel like you want the effect to be really strong so that's the amazing thing about working like this and working with this like i said the median is not available right now in my retouching essentials pack but very soon it'll be okay great so what i want to do now is just come in and what i want to do is work on this part i just want to blend these areas out right now at the same time i want i want this to be sharp so i'm going to just use the the highlights around this place and the shadows to get like a really really nice sharp edge right here okay so let's see what that looks like before after you guys can see we've used the highlights and the shadows right here to get like a, a decent edge you know looks good just going to blend those in blend this into the mixer brush tool bring this in and um, we use our brush so we get finer strokes and let's see what that looks like looks nice see how before after and that looks decent uh feel like it's a bit too much i can always come in there later and fix that up and you guys can see it is almost identical to how it looks on this end too so nice and and sharp we can always just use um, global dodge and burn to fix that up and um, this place looks good so we're not going to do too much to to that part of the face just, that looks good okay great right here i can see that it doesn't look as good as i want so i'm still going to just blend that in with the brush and have that looking really really good okay great so let's see our before after before after before and after i'm going to zoom in again show you guys zoom on. so let's see our before and after before and after okay so the next thing i want to do is just work a little bit with my um, global dodge and burn and once we've done a little bit of global dodge and burn we're going to come back and fix a few other things in the image so let's get straight into that do is reduce the highlights on the forehead because i feel like it's too much it's just too it's too hot you know it's too bright so first thing i want to do is create a new layer 
after creating a new layer what i'm going to do is just pick a new brush and um, i'll make sure it's a soft brush so to zero and um i'm going to change my um blend mode here to darken um for that new layer that i'm creating now maybe i should just rename my layer um highlight reduction okay so um next thing i want to do after that is just sample color from you know close um i think i should take my flow all the way to like eight percent so what i want to do is just sample a color next to that and just paint over okay that's too much so what i'm going to do right now is take my flow all the way to one percent so i'm just going to sample a color close to it and just paint over that place exactly what i'm going to do just paint over this just to reduce the, the highlight okay so let's zoom out let's see what that looks like you can see it's reducing the highlight when it looks weird it's totally okay because what we're always going to do is reduce our opacity just a little bit so let's see how before now after and you guys can see we've done a decent job to reduce that highlight next thing i want to do is the colors there seem weird so i'm going to create a new layer and i'll just name this highlight reduction underscore color and what i want to do is change my blend mode to color and what i'm going to do is just pick something around there and just go over this area and just make it look as natural as possible so let's put this two in a group and so what that looks like before after before after as you guys can see we've dulled down that highlight on the forehead and it looks really natural so before after before after okay now that we've done this um what i want to do is hop into um my actions panel right here and run a dodge and burn so we are going to use my global dodge and burn and um take my flow all the way to about three percent um change my foreground color to white make sure my brush is soft and um, come down to dodge and what i want to do is turn off all these things and then i will just dodge my image so what i'm doing is that i am using the same original um i would say highlight and shadows that the image had to to dodge we're going to get to the tiny aspects in a little bit we're just doing like the major major places here now with my dodge and burn my global dodge and burn i actually do not waste a lot of time on that you know um just get out of the way as quickly as possible um, you don't have to spend too much time um, global dodging and burning. I'm going to work on the lips, any of these highlights here, you know, just make the lips pop. You can see I'm not zoomed into my image. I mean, at the moment, I'm not. I might decide to in a bit. Okay, so now I'm going to burn. Uh, remember this? I told you. So I'm going to burn these places, make this really dark come here and make this really dark too and then we're going to work on these places here if for some reason i feel like i've done too much i will always reduce my opacity so don't worry about that and the good thing is if you're painting with white you can always paint or erase with black that's the amazing thing about um, working this way with your curves i just made layer and just add some little burn here just to emphasize on these and what we're going to do is turn all this off as you guys can see it looks absolutely beautiful so let's see what our global dodge and burn looks like before after before after before after you can see that looks beautiful it looks great so one thing Layla is always 
that's the makeup artist always telling me about is how you can see the shine right here should be taken out so what i'm going to do is just create a new layer and i'm going to change my blend mode to darken again make sure it's a soft brush what i'll do is i'll just select the color here and just run it through this place just to reduce the highlight that's there so that doesn't stand out and i'll do the same for here too just reduce the highlight that's there so that does not stand out okay great so let me show you that you can see from here we've just dulled out so that's not standing out um too much okay great so what i want to do right now is probably just touch up a few things in this image um so levels adjustment layer just going to drag my levels in just a little bit um and then add some um some contrast basically with that i feel like that's a lot so i'm just going to pull this back a little bit um go to my actions panel and probably just um where's that my rich tones just use my rich tones right here and then reduce that a little bit that is looking absolutely gorgeous because this is the skin tone that we're looking for let's see how before and how after before and after looks gorgeous okay great um one other thing i would like to do right now is just throw in a lot um because i really like those lots uh so what we're going to do is just come here go to our color lookup and uh, one of my 3D lots, maybe I'll just throw in four right here. Uh, let's see what six looks like. I prefer six. Um, before, after, it's just meant to be subtle. Let's see what four looks like. Five. Huh, five doesn't look bad at all. Let's see what four looks like right now. Four looks good. One, two. Let's see what natural skin tone looks look like. Uh, I think I prefer the natural one. Yeah, I think I just prefer how the natural one looks. Just adds uh, just a little touch to it. Not that's too much. Somewhere around here. The natural three looks like five. So you guys can see the opacity is actually like really low. I'm just okay. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, favorite one that I've seen. The, okay that works for me okay great so let's see how before for our image before after before after before after and our image looks absolutely 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 gorgeous okay great so a few other things i might do is probably just do a little bit of um let's see we're probably just going to do a little bit of liquify to this image Um, I don't like how this looks. It just looks, uh, it's a bit too much. So I'm just going to reduce those. I mean, at this point, I'm just messing around with my liquify. It's meant to look a bit better than this. Okay, great. Just bend that in there. Bend this in here too. So that looks good. That looks gorgeous. Um, for the neck here, I'm just going to bring that down just a just a little bit. Yeah. Same thing with this. Just bring this down a little bit. Do like this. We're just trying to make the neck look like it's it's uh, longer than it actually is. Don't forget, I just said that, so I'll adjust these bones too right here. Um, the face. We are going to make the face with. Just a little smaller and bring the jawline in and when we do that we are going to increase our brush and work on every aspect of the face so that if it's going to look slim then everywhere should look slim not just that part of the face okay so preview after okay let's see uh, before and uh, after this is where our image is at right now so uh, before after before after looks absolutely gorgeous um one other thing I might do with this image is uh, probably add a vignette behind it so that she doesn't look like darker than the background, even though it doesn't matter really. So what we're going to do is just um, just select a mask our image, select subject. It will do a decent job, not a great job. It will always like miss that part of the 
the hand and um, just create a, a new layer with layer mask and click OK. Ah, you can see it messed up that part. Now, what we're going to do is just delete that. So, we're going to select our mask again, select subject, uh, select our subject. Okay. So layer mask, click OK, <coughs> and um, what I want to do is just um, create a curve, so I just made a layer, and um, we're going to move, hold, alt option, alt on PC, uh, I'm going to delete this layer mask now. I know there's probably going to be like a better way to go about this thing that I'm doing right here, so if you know a better way, please let me know. <laughs> Um, command I right now to invert that so the back just looks uh, a bit darker and then now I'm just going to pick a brush change my flow to 100% and um, a black brush and um, I just paint around you know my subject like this you know um, yeah, so something like this will look good. It looks um, decent. So let's see how before and how after, before and how after. I think this image looks absolutely gorgeous the way it is. Um, it depends on you. If you want to make the image look a little brighter, then maybe um, you should um, probably use the rich tones a, a, a lot less, um, right? Uh, I can always just do this to bring up the... I'll still leave the highlights down, but... Yeah. yeah, something like this. If you want the image to be brighter, but I absolutely love the way the image looks um, when it's just here. Yeah, this is beautiful. Okay, great. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, if you did learn something, please let me know. Put it in the description below. Also, also, a few other things that I probably would have done. I uh, probably made the image a little bit softer, um, reduce like the digital edge. I'll probably do that in like the next editing video that I do show you guys. But yeah this is this is it if you want to get any of my actions pack um links are in the description below um thank you so much if you get any of that thing you're directly supporting the channel and you're supporting me and i can make more videos so thank you so much um yeah i'll see you guys in the next video also subscribe subscribe give this video a thumbs up you know <laughs> big up your boys so i can keep making videos i'll see you guys in the next one have an amazing day guys peace out